Lord has spoken with me, beloved people. The Lord Jehovah has spoken with me about a very spectacular and astonishing event that is about to happen to the earth and in the universe above the earth here in space. Uh, the Lord Jehovah, he took me way deep into space and when we reached deep space, the Lord commanded me to use my left prophetic hand to shake all the galaxies and the planets of the universe. And when I did as commanded by the Lord, then there was a tremendous quake, a space quake, and the entire universe was shaken very, very violently. Extremely violently. It was shocking because at one point, I thought the galaxies would crash. And then some of the planets, because of the enormity of the shaking that took place, they left their orbits. They were dislodged by that force. When I lifted up my left prophetic hand and shook them as commanded by Jehovah, Jehovah Yahweh, Jehovah Elohim. And many planets were dislodged and came towards the earth. And so I am giving a prophecy now that very soon there is going to be a tremendous terrifying event that will take place up here above the earth. I saw many, many planets, big and small, many, come close to the earth, pass close, passing close to the earth, threatening to hit the earth. And the voice of the Lord said that some of these planets are much, much larger than the earth. And there was an existential threat. A terrifying existential threat and fear that if any of those huge planets that are coming to pass by, dislodged from their orbits and coming to pass close to the earth, that if any of them impact the earth, bye-bye human race. And so, very soon, there is going to be a tremendous phenomenon up here in space above the earth. whereby many, many planets are going to come very close to the earth. It's an event that has never, ever happened ever since creation. Ever since the universe was created. And as they come, the bigger planets, much, much bigger than the earth, will come very close and people will be terrified. People on the earth will watch them passing by and terrified. Smaller ones, bigger ones, all of them passing close. Very close to the earth, threatening to impact the earth. And then I see some two planets, special ones, different types, very special. They look like emerald or kind of sapphire. They are very glittering like glass. I see a bigger one and a small one. They operate like a binary system. They are shining light on each other. And that's how they move. The smaller one and the bigger one, same type. They are like glass, emerald. Very shiny and glorious. Spectacular, brilliant. And, and, and they are shining light on each other. Two of them, a smaller and a bigger one. And they will also pass close like that. 
And when I looked on this side, I saw another one like them also, but this time not two on its own coming close to the earth. Very shiny and special and very, very expensive uh, kind of look. Sapphire, emerald kind of planet. Big, passing also. They will also pass very close to the earth. And then at that time, the Lord shows me a space rock. The planets will not hit the earth. But a space rock comes and hits the earth. And then I see a lot of scientists digging it. Where it, has, it, it goes deep. I see as if it hit a house. It hit a building also. A house. And it went deep. Sunk it deep into the earth. So I see a lot of people digging it out. From under the ground where it sunk. And when they pulled it out. Then I saw. The Lord showed me. That he had written. A message for me there. Probably on that day when they pull it out. They will not see a message on it. But in the spirit, the Lord already wrote for me a message there. He wrote my name there and a message that he has not allowed me to share. At all. Until the Messiah comes. But he wrote my name there with a message handwritten himself. But I see them pull it out. And I see the rock. I see, I know even the type of rock. It is similar to the rock that broke off. That broke off when the two neutron stars collided. That August 17th, the year 2017. So there is going to be a spectacular, tremendous event. A terrifying event that will visit very close to the earth. Many, many big planets bigger than the sun. Bigger than the earth many, many times. They will pass close to the earth. Almost threatening to hit the earth. Impact the earth. And then I see these very shiny ones like glass or emerald and sapphire. Very glittering. And, and, and they, 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 the two of them, they are a binary system. A smaller one, they are shining light on one another like this. They will also pass like that. What a tremendous time, beloved people, in the history of the church. The Bible in the book of Luke, Luke chapter 21, verse Verses 25 to 27. This is what he says. He says, I can start with King James. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And upon the earth distress of nations. With perplexity the sea and the waves roaring. Verse 26, Luke 21, he says, Man's hearts, failing them for fear, meaning almost giving way, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and great glory. Amplified, he says. And there shall be signs in the sun and moon and stars and upon the earth there will be distress, trouble and anguish of nations in bewilderment and perplexity without resources left wanting embarrassed in doubt not knowing which way to turn at the roaring the echo of the tossing of the sea and he says verse 26 man swooning away or expiring with fear and dread and apprehension and expectation of the things that are coming on the world.
For the very powers of the heavens will be shaken and caused to totter. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with great transcendent and overwhelming power and all his kingly glory, majesty, and splendor. Beloved people, on this day, on this 17th of January, beloved people, on this 17th of January, I am giving a prophecy of what is about to happen. The Lord took me up deep into space and he commanded me to lift up my left prophetic hand and shake the universe. And the universe shook violently. And I saw many, many planets dislodged from their orbits, even bigger ones, bigger than the earth, bigger than the sun. And they will come very close to the earth, but they will not knock the earth. Including two of them that are very shiny, like emerald, like glass, like sapphire glittering. A binary system, a bigger one and a smaller one on top, shining light on each other like this as they pass. And another one like them this way, and another smaller one. But then a rock will come, a space rock, and hit the earth. And I know the shape of that rock. It's like one of the rocks released when the two neutron stars exploded. The prophecy I gave in 2005, 2007, 2008 regarding the collision of the two neutron stars. One of the rocks that NASA and space scientists are displaying looks exactly like that rock that will impact the earth. It is kind of carved in this way and the inner part is chipped with a bit of a gaping hole but closed this way. So you see an opening, but the inner part is caved out and a strip like this, but the bulk of it is this way. It will hit the earth and scientists will pull it out. The Bible says that when you see the shaking of the heavens, that this time, at this hour, the Lord would send you a messenger that he would endow with power and authority Sufficient to shake the entire creation and cause some mega planets to dislodge and pass close to the earth. And that shaking and wobbling of the trillions of planets and the trillions of galaxies, with each galaxy containing trillions of planets, that shaking. The advent of the messenger that would be sent to shake the universe. He said that would be a major landmark. A major sign that the coming of the Messiah is near. So when these things happen, then you know the following. Number one, that I am the mighty servant of the Lord. The mightiest. That this is the most powerful prophet the Lord ever sent. Heaven has ever sent. Number two, that the Lord Jehovah, he is God and there is no other God. Number three, that the coming of the Messiah is now near. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Turn away from sin. Turn away from the false gospel of prosperity. Return to the original gospel of the blood and the cross. The gospel of power. The gospel of deliverance. The gospel of holy salvation. Turn away from sin. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. The Messiah is coming. Shalom. <laughs>